Okay, so I promised I would take some pictures and stuff for you guys. So, there it is. Yes, it's all shinied and divvied up. I even got this. Oh, here you go. I really should put my light on this. Actually, I'm going to do that. No, I know. Can I do that? While I... Oh, yeah, while I'm filming. Sweet. So, as you can see, really good there, right? Okay. And now, we're going to go down to where the leak was. Now, right underneath here, this is going to be the hard part for you guys to actually see. And I don't know if you're going to see it all that well or not. It's really kind of hot down here, but you can... Ow! Yeah, that's really hot. Especially that thing. There you go. Oh. You know the thing? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. So... It's going to be hard to see, but there's a little thing in the way, and I think you have somewhat of a clear view of what that looks like, and I'm trying to see it myself. It's, ow! Gosh! That, that's, yeah, that, 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 this metal thing right here, that's really hot. But that's what I did right there, okay? And you see the gasket portion right there? It's, it's coming off a little bit, right? Well... For the, I, I think that's normal for it, but the thing is, is that um, I just RTV'd that area right underneath here, and if I could get a better view of it, I could, but it's just so tight, and that's where the leak was, and I just used some RTV, and it's been dry as a bone for like two days of solid driving, man. I went through like at least three-fourths of a tank of gas, and no problem, so no leaks whatsoever. Super awesome with that. After that, I decided to go ahead and, well, I still haven't changed the oil yet, but I'll do that later. Another thing I have to do, this transmission portion right over here, see, these are the uh, plastic bushings, and they're already starting to deteriorate. They've been on there for less than 500 miles, man, maybe a 1,000, and already we got deterioration, and they were installed like less than a year ago. No kidding. Well, no, about two years ago. But just the time in the plastic, it's already deteriorated. And I have the polyurethane bushings, so I'll be installing those soon. And I got that one and that one here. So two of them here. And then the ones on the inside of the cabin. Um, other than that, um, tomorrow's going to be a junkyard run to go ahead and get the uh, EGR recirculation stuff. And by the way, my uh, hole that I drilled in there is working perfectly. Um, there is a gasket on that thing that I did not replace with me, whatever. <laughs> it's not like it's going to leak that bad. Um, other than that, I still have to do the exhaust gasket, which I'll be doing soon. And then there's a donut in the back of that, which I still have to do as well. And, you know, sometimes it's probably best just to have like an exhaust shop move and do all that stuff because it really isn't all that bad it just needs to be pulled out the exhaust thing pushed back in because it's just out and i'm sure if i just pushed it back in that's really all i'd have to do but i would prefer just to have an exhaust shop take care of that <laughs> other than that um i still have to hook up my power steering and ac lines i did find out something kind of wacky maybe because i was stupid and i didn't do it but i noticed that if you look right down there see that yeah <laughs> that's coming out so I have to retighten that up again and I'll be doing that more than likely tomorrow it's on my to-do list <sighs> but yeah other than that cool then I can go ahead and patch this stuff up and then I'll be working I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I'll be working on that soon so I put that transmission out um I have to go and get this at the junkyard too or I'll just order a new one I don't really care but that's been like my original blanket that's been on there for years and years and years since I bought the car. So I'll be fixing that. Um, but yeah, I fluid filmed everything. As you can tell the fluid film, it stays on there. That's kind of great. Um, did that to all the metal pieces over here that I was starting to see a little bit of rust. Um, I still have to finish up the... Because uh, really, I could polish these up and they really aren't all that bad to really polish. Seriously, it's got to take the time to do it. The, the battery, since I went ahead and I put on this, it's been really cool, believe it or not. So, yeah. Um, I haven't had an issue with it. Seriously. And, you know, again, 
part of that is important like you know you want to go ahead and get all these areas here and do this right and block this area off where the battery is and then after that you'll be just fine um other than that everything else has been smooth sailing uh, i still have to get the windshield shined up because there's some scratches in there that make it difficult to drive at night ah <sighs> I really just got to go and get a very high speed polisher and just polish the living snot out of it. And it takes about an hour or two to do. I mean, that's just how it is. And, you know, I'll get around to it. I'll have another young man do it. Because if you look, and I know it's kind of hard to see, but there are swirls in the glass that you can feel it. I mean, it definitely needs to be polished. And I could just replace the glass, but the glass is fine. It just, you know, you can kind of sit here, see what these, see what I mean? These little small, yeah. That's what needs to be taken care of there. So yeah. Uh, other than that, just small bits and pieces I gotta take care of. Nothing really big. Um, yeah, and then of course, I still have the heat shield, but I'll be replacing that on there after I replace the O2 sensor. Um, Cause that's been on there as OEM. I should probably take it out and take a look at it or something. Um, everything else is doing fine. I still have to take this apart and lube the um, this mechanism, the windshield washer, with me, the windshield mechanism, and then that's it. <laughs> Other than that, the car itself looks pretty good. I did the uh, the fluid film to the front bumper, and as you can tell, it's working pretty good to give it that nice original gloss right um but on the back not so much it already came off of the back over here um i'm gonna try to do another application of it hopefully it'll stay but quite literally um it's like i said i don't want to get rid of my original stickers and everything else like that so you know whatever I'll get around to it. Or I'll see if I can find some more stickers like this and re-put them on there. But, you know, yeah. <laughs> anyway, but so far it looks pretty good. Most of the rubber definitely is starting to get a little bit hard. So I'll see what I can do about maybe rejuvenating that. But realistically, it just needs to be replaced. I mean, it's been over 20-something years, right? This one's kind of hard. It still seals, right? But it's best to do that. And of course, I have, I think I have the replacement for this. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I'll get around to it. But yeah, the cars do need a full repaint, respray, and a few other things. And I'll get around to that when I do. And of course, I didn't bother cleaning or polishing anything underneath here. It's just dust. But uh, yeah, you can tell like these areas right here, see? starting to wear through you really got to be careful here what i would honestly do if, if i was you i put something here or just keep repainting it or something so that this area right here does not flake off with the paint because that's exactly what's happening so i'll be taking care of that there's a lot of little small things that need to be done but i mean surprisingly man the pt cruiser really has held up really well so yeah, really proud, proud that I did the head all by myself. Next thing I could do all by myself is the transmission, but I, I, you know, there's a lot of things I'll mess with. But the tranny, I'm going to have somebody else take care of that, because I know, because see, last time they did a fucked up job. They didn't even replace the, um, the throwout bearing. They're like, oh, whoops, and they're just like, yeah, I'm like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> and it's like, it's grinding. Oh, that's normal. Bullshit, you lazy piece of shit. And I paid over... Like, I think, $1,500, $2,000 to get that done? Ridiculous. Anyway. And that was only 36,000 miles. So I think what probably happened was one of these came off. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious, man. I'm, I don't know. Okay? I don't know. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.